All right, let's look at an example of testing claims of visions. A study was con conducted to determine the proportion of people who dream in black and white. Uh, we have two samples here among 313 over the age of 55, 61 dreamed in black and white, and among 299 people under the age of 25, 15 black and white. I'm going to use a 0 0.05 significance level to test the claim the proportion of people over 55 who dream in black and white is greater than the proportion of those under. So because we're looking at greater than, we want to see if the proportion of those over 55 is greater than those under 25. So our null hypothesis is there's no difference. Our alternative is what we're trying to test is that the proportion definitely want to use your calculator. There is a two proportion Z test. So we can use stat test two prop Z test. Plug in all of our data, our sample size 313 X1 61. Sample size here 299 15. Just be careful to don't forget to change your um, alter alternate hypothesis to greater than. And this gives you your Z, which is this line right here, the very first line. And it also gives your P value, but notice how it's written this 2.87 and this E to the negative 8. Remember, this is scientific notation, so that says move the decimal eight places. So it was right here, move it eight places to the left. So, in other words, this is practically zero. So you can just enter a zero. The p-value, of course, is very, 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 very small, so our conclusion, it's less than the significance, so reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the proportion of people over 55 who dream in black and white is greater than the proportion for those under 20. We can set up a confidence interval with our stat test 2 prop z interval. Our data should already still be entered in there. So this is the same data. I just put 0.9 for a 90% interval. And here is my output for my interval. Because the confidence interval does not include zero, notice that zero is not included in here. The only way zero would be included is if this was positive and this was negative. And you can think about a number line. And because the confidence intervals include only positive values, it appears that the proportion of people over 55 who dream in black and white is greater than the proportion for those. An explanation for the results is that those over the age of 55 grew up exposed to media that was white. No, this isn't necessarily true. It just, it's just telling you that there is an actual difference. It doesn't give you the cause of this difference.